Welcome. Covers tonight features the Titans of Southwest Legacy against the Dragons of Southwest, or as they like to call it, the Fire and Armor Bowl, the four. The Titans are up 3 nothing lead in the second quarter. They look to extend that. The Titans go on the Dragon six-yard line. Zazar Tovar makes a great throw to the back corner of the end zone. Javier Murillo for the touchdown. 10 nothing Titans at the half. Now, here's something you don't see every day at a high school football game, a fireworks show at halftime. The Dragons fire right back. Running back Jake Friesenheim takes a pitch, and he's forcing his way into the end zone and five-yard touchdown, but the Titans do not fold. They're on the goal line now. Big number 71, Isaiah Ulabadi is in the backfield as a fullback, pushes a pile 16 and 10, and that is your final legacy. This is very big. This is this is possibly district champs for us. We could be going deep in the playoffs with this, and it's just a big win for us. We really needed this. The number two ranked and undefeated Steel Knights nice neighborhood rivalry against Clemens Buffalo, stating they share Lynn Hall. The Knights are charging. Quarterback Connor Vincent keeps it on the option read, gets it to the outside, down the sideline. It takes a huge hit by Jameer Dudley to knock him out of the Buffalo six yard line. Ouch. A couple of plays later, Steel is on the goal line. Vincent keeps and powers his way in for the score. 7 0 Steel. The final 21 0 Steel. The Smith and Valley Rangers ranked right behind Steel Knights at number three, and they're also undefeated, trying to stay that way against South Sand Bobcats. The Rangers on the attack. Quarterback Derek Mata rolls out, finds Zach McDonald. That's good enough for a 25 yard gain all the way down to the Bobcats four yard line. The Rangers cap that off at a quarterback keeper. Rangers take a 7-0 lead. The final from South Sands. Smith and Valley with a big win. Great game tonight at Rutledge Stadium. Judson taking on East Central. 27-6A. Rock is up 28-24. 10 seconds left. Fourth and 10. Caden Basenko heaves this one into the end zone. Jack Stewart holds it in for the game winning 43-yard touchdown. The Hornets' Hail Mary is answered. Let's head to the big game coverage scoreboard for that final first time East Central has defeated Judson since 1976. 30-20. 28. Steel over Clemens. That's the final 21 to nothing. Elsewhere, South Sam Falls 41 to 6. And Southwest Legacy over Southwest 16 to 10. O'Connor ROTC doing jumping jacks on the sideline to get ready for number one ranked Brennan Bears. are trying to stay undefeated. The Bears come out roaring. Quarterback Ashton DeBose. A quick pass to Jaheim Lard on the wide receiver screen. Look at him go. He weaves his way up the middle. Then check out the spin move to break free the 44 yard touchdown. 6 nothing Brennan. The final 54 to 7. Holmes faithful fans rooting on the Huskies trying to provide a spark against the Harlan Hawks. Hold on to their playoff hopes. Hawks up 6 nothing. Minute to go in the second quarter. Quarterback Nora Ferris with a quick pass to Jacob Gonzalez for a gain of 10. 30 seconds before the half, Ferris going over the middle to Donye Hunter, who makes a great grab over the defender. Rubbles into the end zone. 31 yard score, 12 nothing. Final, Harlan 24 13. MacArthur Brame has had their hands full tonight against the Reagan Rattlers. Reagan defense getting the Rattlers on the board first. Linebacker Jack Davis showing some nice hands. Comes up with a big pick. He's taking it the other way. 36 yard pick six. Give the Rattlers a 7 nothing lead in the final. Reagan with the win, 56 7. Same district, the Churchill Chargers ready for their annual rivalry with Lee. Chargers are up 7 0 to third. We arrived at uh, Cormelander Stadium. Lee trying to even things up. But the Chargers defense strike. Cooper Coons jumps the route. Interception taking it back 23 yards to the score. 14 0. Back to the big game coverage scoreboard for that final on that rivalry. 28 14. Churchill, Reagan over MacArthur, 56 7. Elsewhere, Brennan with a big win as number one, 54 7. Harlan over Holmes, 24 13. A future champion Charger bringing out the football to get the game between Kerrville, Tyvee, and Bernie Champion underway tonight. The Chargers forcing the Anders to punt on the first possession. The snap is low. Looks like the punter gets distracted by a flag being thrown on the play. Hasn't stopped, so he tries to punt. Too late. Tanner Lee there for the block. The Chargers take over on the Kerrville 28. A few plays later, running back Alex Rodriguez punches in from a yard out. Champion up 7-0. The final from Bernie. Champion with a win 45-20. The Lanier Volks trying to capitalize on their big win over Brackenridge last week. Volks trying to get it into gear. Down 14-0. Third to the Highland House. Quarterback Xavier Tejas takes a snap. Just takes off. Picks up some nice field downfield blocking to spring him all the way down to the 35-yard line. Next play, Tejas to Ezekiel Garcia on the slant. No one's going to catch him. 35 yards to the house. The Owls lead is down to 7. The final Final from Alamo, Lanier Falls 21-20. Strike of the band, the Kennedy Rockets looking to make a game-winning defensive stand here. The Rockets are up 14-7. Brackridge has the ball. The Rockets 10-yard line is fourth and seven with 27 seconds to go. Eagles take to the air, but the Rockets defense shoots them down. The pass is batted away. Kennedy hangs on for the win 14-7. Here come the number five Alamo Heights Mules ready to take on Medina Valley at Panther Stadium tonight. Mules strike in the first quarter. Handoff goes to running back George Flesher. He takes off through the defense, gets a great block downfield. He's gone for the fourth. 42-yard touchdown, 7-0 Alamo Heights. Back to the big game coverage scoreboard for that final year. Heights with a big win, 47-7. Champion over Kerrville Tivy tonight, 45-20. Setting up for a big game against Alamo Heights. Highlands over Lanier, 21-20. And Kennedy outlasts Brackeridge, 14-7. This again, Matadors on the road to Harlandale Memorial to face the McCullum Cowboys. The Matadors are up 27-0 third quarter. Lot 
not looking to slow down here. Running back, John Jackson bursts up the middle. Dodgers two defenders as he bounces to the outside, gets all the way down the McCollum 10-yard line before getting pushed out. A gain of 43. A couple of plays later, running back Michael Martinez gets the call, plows his way in for the score. 34-0 Seguin. The final 37-14 Seguin. The Antonio and Apache fans aren't letting the score get in the way of a good time. Antonio down 35-7 in the four, but there's no give up here. Quarterback Sam Girard. Back to pass. He's feeling pressure. Decides to run. He has daylight all the way down to the corner of the end zone on a 37-yard score. The final from Ferrara Field, 35-14 Houston St. Thomas. Let's head to Unicorn Stadium. Big 27-6A matchup between New Braunfels and Wagner. Unicorn's down 22-17 second half. Hanoff goes to Riker Purdy. Powers his way through the defense. Seven-yard score. New Braunfels goes for two. Aiden Bauman rolls out to find Garnett Gonzalez for a 25-22 lead. Back to the big game coverage scoreboard to see if that has gone final. It has. New Braunfels pulls out the win, 25-22. Seguin over McCollum, 37-14. Elsewhere, Antonian Falls today, 35-14. This game was canceled with South Sand West Campus. We have much more to come, including our big game coverage, road trip, fan cam, more highlights, more scores. But first, let's listen to the Taft Raiders marching band.